Hey everyone, Snoop Lux here, and today we're gonna see if it's possible to beat Donkey Kong 64 without jumping. So in this challenge, we're gonna try to collect as many golden bananas as possible, collect as many boss keys as possible, colored bananas, and pretty much any collectible. So for this challenge, a jump is any time you press the A button to jump off the ground. So any jump by pressing A on the ground is banned. And the simian spring is banned, because that's also a jump on the ground. What is allowed is jumping while already airborne, jumping off climbable objects like trees or vines, and jumping while submerged in water. So this challenge begins with DK, and is that ever a great thing? Because if it started with any other Kong, our journey would be over right now. This is because DK's moving attack is the kick, which actually allows him to gain a fair bit of height. There's a glitch in the game called kick jumping, where you can jump in the air after kicking. And if it wasn't for kick jumping, a majority of the stuff in this run wouldn't be possible. With that out of the way, let's start the run. So this run starts out with visiting Cranky Kong and getting the training barrels to appear. Using kick jumps, we're easily able to enter the training barrels. The first swimming training barrel was very easy. The next two training barrels were extremely easy too, requiring no jumping at all. The rope swing training barrel was a little bit tricky, but skipping the first vine made it relatively easy. With that, we get the simian slam and we're ready to leave. We take a quick visit to K. Lumsey to open Jungle Japes and we're on our way. We have our first free banana which we need to enter Jungle Japes. We start out Jungle Japes by using the same trick we used during the training barrel to grab onto the vine. Everything's going smoothly, and then we go get our first battleground. The battleground's in the air, so DK's easily able to get it, but other Kongs might struggle with it. Quick visit to Funky Kong to get our coconut gun, and we collect our second golden banana for getting up to Diddy Kong. And with three easy coconut shots, we're able to unlock Diddy Kong and get our third golden banana. Switching out to Diddy Kong for the first time, it becomes very apparent that he's nowhere near as useful as Donkey Kong is. With Donkey Kong's kicking ability and being able to jump in the air, it makes Donkey Kong super versatile for almost any situation, but with Diddy? He's not really able to leave the ground. I use Banana Port 2 to be able to warp up and drop down to buy Diddy's Peanut Gun. I use Diddy's Peanut Gun to hit these switches on this gate and to get Diddy's first banana and our fourth banana of the run. So at this point, I was starting to get a little bit worried because how am I going to switch back to Donkey Kong if Diddy can't jump in any tank barrels? But then I realized that if I go to a trough and scoff door, I'm easily able to drop into a tag barrel to switch Kongs whenever I want. So these trough and scoff doors are going to be incredibly helpful for this run for changing Kongs. Next I check to see what Diddy can do in his sub area. I quickly discovered that Diddy really can't do much here without jumping. So I went to go collect some red bananas. But when I collected these bananas, I realized that I was trapped in here, and the only way I could leave was to exit course. Okay. When I came back, I realized that Diddy pretty much can't do anything here, because without being able to jump, he can't do his simian slam. 
Luckily, Diddy's Kasplat was in an easily accessible area, so I was able to get his blueprint. Next, I quickly grab Donkey Kong's Kasplat also to get his blueprint. I went to Cranky Kong to get the new moves for Donkey Kong and for Diddy Kong. With the Rambi transformation, I was able to break down all the huts and to break down the extra area barrier, just like in a casual playthrough. I hit Donkey Kong Switch for an easy golden banana. Then I hit Donkey Kong's Baboon Blast Pad for an easy six golden banana. That's everything we can do in Jungle Japes for now, so now all we gotta do is beat the boss and move on to the next stage. So for Jungle Japes, we 100%ed it with Donkey Kong. The reason why it says 4 out of 5 bananas is because we haven't returned the blueprint and that will get us our 5th one. And for Diddy Kong, we're able to get 2 of the 5. And we weren't able to get the banana medal. You get a banana medal for collecting 75 colored bananas as a Kong on a stage. We return the key to K. Lumsey to unlock Angry Aztec. Before we go to Angry Aztec, I'm gonna visit the Banana Fairy. I could have done this before Jungle Japes, but I honestly just forgot about this glitch. If you mash B while you're swimming, you're easily able to clip into the island, and you just have to go to the loading zone. This attempt, I actually got myself stuck in the cage, so I'm gonna have to reset the game and try it again. After resetting, I was able to enter the loading zone with a jump and visit the Banana Fairy. Usually, you would visit the Banana Fairy way later in the game after you unlock Tiny Kong, but with this glitch, you're able to visit her pretty much straight from the beginning as Donkey Kong. The reason why visiting the Banana Fairy is important is because it gives us this move, which allows us to collect the rainbow coins from the dirt patches. And luckily, we have enough bananas to enter Angry Aztec. First thing is we visit Candy Kong to get DK's bongos and Diddy's guitar. Now this is the first major obstacle that we have to get by, because usually you need to swing on these vines as Diddy and play his guitar to open that sub area up over there. But we can't do this as Diddy since there's no way for Diddy to climb up the tree or to jump to the vines. This took me literally over an hour to do, and I put on the infinite orange cheat just so I wouldn't have to keep stocking up on oranges, I thought that was fair. But I was able to clip through this wall with an orange clip. Since I was able to clip through the wall, I can get to this area without playing Diddy's music notepad. Now that I activated Warp Pad 2, I'll be able to easily get back to this area without having to clip out of bounds. From here, we go to the Baboon Blast and we free the Llama to get a Golden Banana. This is also helpful because it opens up the building so we can now work on freeing Lanky Kong. We ground pound a switch to open up this area that we'll use for later. Then we play the bongos to make the llama, spit some water into the lava to make the lava water. A quick swim over and we unlocked Linky Kong and we got our seventh golden banana. With Lanky, we take a quick visit to get his Grape Shooter and Trombone. Next, we're going to attempt to unlock Tiny Kong as Diddy Kong. So usually, you'd have to do a Simeon Slam onto a switch to get rid of this glass to jump into this water. But since we can't do a Simeon Slam, we're going to have to do something called a Ledge Clip. A Ledge Clip is when you fall off a ledge then you press C up to change the camera angle and face the way that you just fell off the ledge and it lets you clip into walls. This is going to be extremely useful during this run. The 
problem we have is that all the platforms are low enough that we could damage boost our way up. Except the old platform. The old platform is much higher and there doesn't seem a way to get there currently. I then tried to clip out of bounds with Lanky Kong to see if he can get his banana that's in here. Although Lanky can get his colored bananas in this room, he's unable to get the golden banana since he's unable to jump and hit the switch. Next we do a group trip to Cranky Kong for all the Kongs to learn their new moves. With DK's new move, we're easily able to obtain this banana. We are also able to get DK's blueprint now. And with that blueprint, I think now's a good time to visit Snide for the first time. With that, we can finally move on to the Angry Aztec boss. The boss gives us no trouble and the key is easily obtainable. We return the key and open up Frantic Factory and Gloomy Galleon. This is where one of the biggest challenges in this run comes from, because we aren't able to make it to Frantic Factory in the traditional way, because Donkey Kong's kick jump doesn't give him enough height to land on the platform. I tried everything I could for well over an hour, but there was just no way DK could land on this platform. So you might think this run is over since we need 30 bananas to get into Gloomy Galleon. But luckily, we have some tricks up our sleeve. Using a ledge clip, we're able to clip through this wall and access the loading zone to this level. First stop in Gloomy Galleon is to Cranky's lap to get all the Kongs a new move. Diddy is easily able to get his blueprint also. Next we do DK's Baboon Blast to unlock the seal to get a golden banana later in the level. This next challenge was incredibly frustrating to do without being able to jump normally. This took me at least 15 minutes worth of tries to climb this tower, but I finally did it. And that brings our total up to 13 golden bananas. Turning Lanky Kong into a swordfish, we're able to get one more banana. Doing some jumps through the DK ring, we're able to unlock a sub area of the level. As DK, we visit the seal for another golden banana. Now that we collected the banana from the seal, let's try doing the seal race without jumping. And the race honestly wasn't too bad, and that gives us another banana for Donkey Kong. Now we'll play the bongos as DK to unlock this sub area. This sub area got us to an easy banana to get through a bonus barrel. Now it's Diddy's turn. Diddy also had a bonus barrel. And Lanky's turn. So that's everything we can do in Gloomy Galleon so far. 
so that means it's boss time. Although we didn't have enough colored bananas to open the door, we're able to get to the door by doing a ledge clip. So this boss fight wasn't too bad at all, so that gives us the key to go to Fungi Forest. On the way to returning the key, we pick up a quick banana with Lanky. So B Locker tells us we need 50 bananas to enter, but we only have 20. It's alright, because Lanky Kong has really long arms and is able to get into pretty much every level early. First things first is we have to find a trough and scoff door to be able to switch to other Kongs. As Lanky, we're able to get up to the spot, but we're unable to collect the banana because we're unable to jump to do a simian slam. We can collect DK's Kasplat right by the maze. Then we visit Cranky to unlock the Super Simian Slam, which lets us ground pound on blue switches. DK's Baboon Blast gives us another easy banana. Then we visit the K Rule Path to get an easy battle crown. With Diddy, we drop down to his Kasplat to get another blueprint. With the Super Simian Slam, we're able to Simian Slam the switch and be able to collect this banana now. With DK, we're able to get another banana. Alright, so now we have a big problem. The Funky Forest boss fight unlocks Crystal Caves and Creepy Castle. Creepy Castle has this really cool glitch in the boss fight where you can unlock any Kongs that you don't have. So my plan before was to get the Fungi Forest boss key, head to Creepy Castle, and unlock Chunky and Tiny that way. But there's a catch. You need to play the Fungi Forest boss fight as Chunky since there's a hunky chunky barrel in the middle. We can't unlock Chunky from Frantic Factory without being able to jump up there, and we can't unlock Chunky from Creepy Castle without having Chunky in the first place. Then I thought up a really complex plan. You see, what if we were somehow able to unlock Tiny from Angry Aztec? We could use Donkey Kong to clip into Crystal Caves, which would then allow us to visit Cranky in Crystal Caves and learn the Banana Port move, because the only way Cranky will teach you Banana Port is in Crystal Caves or Creepy Castle, which we can't go to, but we should be able to clip into Crystal Cave. Once we have Banana Port, we can fall into Frantic Factory to finally get Chunky Kong to then go to Fungi Forest to unlock Creepy Castle and Crystal Caves. Even though we can go into Crystal Caves right now, there's no way to get to Creepy Castle early. The reason why getting to Creepy Castle is so important is because you need the Creepy Castle key and the Crystal Caves key to unlock Hideout Helm. Alright, so now we head back to Angry Aztec and try to see if we can unlock Tiny once more. My first thought was to clip out of bounds, and maybe that would give me enough height to land on the old platform, but clipping out of bounds actually made us under the room. 
My next thought was to make it to the O platform before the platforms raised so that the platform would raise Diddy Kong up. But sadly a cutscene played which made this idea not work. I then thought maybe the larger enemies could give me enough knockback to land on the platforms but it wasn't quite enough. If I can get up onto the K platform with knockback, do a roll, jump in the air, maybe that would give me enough height to get to the O platform but it wasn't quite the case. Then I had an idea, if I can get an enemy or an orange to knock me back onto the K platform, do a cartwheel to a jump in mid-air to a bounce on an enemy, I could reach the O platform. Then it was as easy as getting knocked back onto the N and the G platform, and we now have Tiny Kong. And thank goodness that we do, because I'm not even exaggerating, this part probably took me over an hour and a half to get down. But not only do we have Tiny, we got another golden banana to bring our total up to 24. The next step is we clip into Crystal Caves to get Tiny's banana port. And this is by far the hardest clip I did on this entire run. This took me literally over two hours of tries over two days to get this clip down. So we switched to Lanky Kong to use his arms to get into the level. I was a little bit worried starting out the level as Lanky because we have to be able to either find a tank barrel we can get into or find a trough in Scoffdor. While I was looking for a tank barrel I thought I might as well stop and see Candy Kong to get our third melon. I was starting to get concerned because there was no trough in Scoffdors around at all but then I found this tank barrel that I was just able to get in if I jumped when the water was at its highest level. Since the plan is to backtrack I'm only going to get the collectibles that are on my way to Cranky. After a longer trip than expected, I finally see Cranky's lab, but decided to do Donkey Kong's Baboon Blast first. Well done. Yeah. Now we're finally here to get the new moves. After all that, we can finally exit the level, and finally go to Frantic Factory. In the lobby, we get one of Donkey Kong's bananas, and we're able to actually just walk in the level because we have enough bananas this time. So now it's time to see if we can unlock Chunky. But first, we might as well get DK's Baboon Blast out of the way. This makes the lever for the DK Arcade Machine appear, which will be useful for a later banana and to get the Nintendo coin. Next we stop to get Tiny's saxophone, and we get Tiny's first blueprint of the game. <clears throat> to unlock Chunky Kong, you need to hit a switch as Lanky that's on that pipe. And this really doesn't look good, because it looks like it's going to take multiple jumps to get there. So at this point, I thought I'd play out the level normally and hopefully find a way to get Linky to simmy and slam that switch. I was unable to do DK's number puzzle where you just have to ground pound the numbers 1 to 16 
It was just way too hard to time, and to hit 16 numbers, you pretty much need to hit a number every 2.5 seconds, and it's way too hard to get the accuracy, so this banana won't be possible. It may be possible with tools, but there's no way I'll be able to do this as a human. Next, we take a quick stop to Funkies to get Tiny's Feather Bow. With DK, we're able to get one more Battle Crown. And we can drop down this hole to activate the Frantic Factory Machine. This is a cool glitch you can do, I thought maybe it would help us unlock Chunky, but this is purely cosmetic, this glitch. When we re-enter the area, Chunky is back in his cage. I came up with an idea to unlock Chunky. As Lanky Kong, we can clip out a bounce here. If we are able to walk to the room with Lanky Switch, we should be able to drop right onto it. Clipping out a bounce isn't that hard, but navigating to the room is where the real difficulty comes. It took me over two hours to navigate to this room correctly and to land in the correct spot. Also, during one of my attempts, I accidentally went to this area and got Lanky a golden banana. This footage is sped up a lot, but this walk took me about 5 minutes to get here. It was so hard to navigate to, because it was pretty much on the other side of the map, and navigating in pitch blackness is pretty difficult. So we were able to land on the bottom crate, and with a couple jumps in the air while falling off, we'll be able to jump up to the switch. Now we run into another problem. I thought I'd be able to fall off the switch, jump in the air, come back for the ground pound. But since the pipe is slanted there, we can't just drop off. So now I need to think of another way to Simeon slam that switch. So this entire run has been done on actual Nintendo 64 with no save states, but for this part, I have to use an emulator and I'm gonna need to use some save states because for me to do this on console, it would probably take me over six hours and I'd probably lose my mind. So for this part and only this part, I'm going to be using an emulator with save states. So using save states, when I fell down, I was able to fall into an area that was still out of bounds, but on level with the switch. So that way, I could come into the room, jump in the air, and ground pound the switch. With that, we have Chunky Kong, and we have a second golden banana for Lanky. We're going to complete this level, and then we're going to go and play every level through. Well done! And Lanky gets one more, and he's doing very well for this stage. Chunky is very behind right now, so... We're gonna stop and get him his pineapple gun. With DK, we get ourselves an easy golden banana and a not so easy Nintendo coin. This actually took me a fair bit of tries.
As Chunky, we're able to get him his first blueprint of the game. Tiny Kong has a super useful ZB move where she does a butt slide, which becomes incredibly useful because it lets her go into her tiny barrels. And with that, we have an easy banana for Tiny. Now it's time for Chunky to get his abilities and his instrument. Now we can get Diddy's blueprint. Next is DK's blueprint. It's a little bit trickier, but definitely doable. And DK can easily get this crazy banana. And with that, that's everything we can do in Frantic Factory, so it's time to face Matt Jack. Although the boss door says Tiny, and we could go in with her, we're gonna do this boss fight as Donkey Kong. All we need to do is do another ledge clip and we can get right into the door. Although the cutscene shows Tiny Kong, we will be playing as Donkey Kong. So this boss fight was much harder than I thought it would be. It is incredibly hard to do a kick jump on a small platform especially trying to avoid the fire too. Kept having this problem where the switches would disappear right when they appeared and I had no idea why and it seemed like the switches weren't popping up at times but that's when I realized whenever DK goes below any of the pads it resets the cycle and resets the switches so you have to be extra careful to make your jumps very high so you never go below that surface. After well over an hour worth of tries, I finally got it, and we got the boss key. Now this boss key's only purpose is if you return this boss key and boss key 8 from Hideout Helm, you will unlock the final boss fight. So for Frantic Factory, DK was able to get everything except his number pad banana. Diddy was only able to get one banana, his blueprint banana. Diddy missed two bananas because he was unable to go upstairs. He also missed a banana because he was unable to simian spring, and he missed another banana for not being able to ground pound. And even if we did ground pound this switch, he'd have to send me and spring up anyways. As Lanky, we missed two bananas, but we were able to get his banana medal. One banana for his blueprint, because he wasn't able to climb up to that level. The other banana we can't get because we are unable to jump on the switch. Tiny Kong's missing three bananas. One banana is because she's unable to get into the tiny barrel and unable to jump up that high. The second banana is kind of the same thing, can't get to the tiny barrel. And the third banana, Tiny can't simian slam the switch. Although he does have a banana medal, Chunky Kong was unable to get four bananas. One, because there was no way for him to jump in the bonus barrel. Two, because there was no way for him to jump up to the top box. 3 because he was unable to climb up and get to his section in this part of the level. And 4 he was unable to do a simian slam on his switch. But overall, Frantic Factory was a pretty good level. 
Next step is we're gonna backtrack to Jungle Japes and see how we can do with all the Kongs. With Chunky, we're able to get an easy banana by throwing the boulder. As Tiny, we can easily get her blueprint as it's on the path. In Jungle Japes, we do a well-needed second trip to Snide to get some more golden bananas. So for DK, we 100%ed Jungle Japes. The three we missed for Diddy were, two of the bananas we're missing for Diddy are in his sub area, and the other banana he has to do a simian slam for. Planky only has his blueprint so he's missing four. The first is for not being able to simian slam, the second is for not being able to jump up, the third is for not being able to jump into a bonus barrel, and the fourth is also not being able to jump into a bonus barrel. Tiny also only got her blueprint. The four Tiny is missing is one for not being able to Simeon slam the switch, one for not being able to jump up to her Tiny Barrel, and another one for not being able to bounce off the mushroom to get the banana. And the last and weird one is Tiny's able to enter this bonus barrel, but after completing the challenge, there isn't a way for Tiny to collect the banana. And last, we have Chunky with one banana as well. Chunky is able to get up to this platform with a damage boost, but he's unable to enter the Hunky Chunky barrel. There's no way for Chunky Kong to Simeon Slam this switch. This area with the X, if you do a Simeon Slam, there's a banana there and his blueprint there. And this is the grand total, so not quite as good as Frantic Factory. Next up, we're heading to Angry Aztec again, but on our way, we're going to do a couple things as Chunky Kong. This next part took me a fair bit of tries, because if you go out of a loading zone, the boulders you pick up will respawn. So I had to fall into the tag barrel as Chunky to switch to Lanky, to be able to play Lanky's instrument on his instrument pad. Funnily enough, this is unnecessary because Diddy can't even reach his rocket boost barrel. We can also get Chunky's switch banana in DK Isle. With Chunky, we're easily able to get his vase banana with relative ease. As Chunky, we go in this building and do a challenge. The challenge wasn't that difficult, but getting the banana at the end was the real challenge, because Chunky was unable to jump up to it. Luckily, we were able to throw an orange and use the knockback from the orange to collect the banana. <laughs> Tiny's blueprint was luckily right in the open. For DK, we missed out on one golden banana, but we 100%ed everything else. Usually in this game, as Diddy Kong, you'd fly on top of this 5-door building and hit a switch. That switch would activate a statue that you'd have to feed. After you feed the statue, 5 switches would appear, one for each Kong. And since we're unable to do this, we lose out on 6 golden bananas. One of those is DK's. Diddy is missing four bananas. One from the five door temple. One for not being able to feed the statue to unlock the vulture. Diddy's Kasplat is on this temple, and the intended way of getting there is with this rocket boost barrel. After hitting four gongs, Diddy rises a tower with a golden banana on top. He's unable to collect it because he's unable to use his rocket barrel. The next is Lanky, who wasn't able to get a single golden banana. Although he's able to reach the music switch and get to the bonus barrel, he's unable to jump into it. Oh. 
With Lanky being unable to simian slam his switch, he's unable to get his golden banana. Since we're unable to enter here as Tiny, we're unable to activate Banana Port 2, where Lanky's Kasplat is. The fourth golden banana, Lanky needs to jump and hit the switch on the pillar, but he's unable to do so. And the last one is from the Five Door Temple. Tiny is also missing for 1. For not being able to go in this tunnel. We are unable to get the Beetle Race banana because the music pad never pops up since Diddy isn't able to rocket boost to the top of the tower to collect his banana. Without being able to jump, Tiny's unable to access her tiny barrel in this building. And the last banana is the Five Door Temple one. Lastly, there's Chunky, who's missing three. One is for not being able to jump in his Hunky Chunky barrel, and the other two are for not being able to go into the Five Door Temple, since he has a golden banana there, and his Kasplats there. With only 8 bananas and 1 banana medal, Angry Aztec was a pretty bad stage for not being able to jump. Next, it's time to head back to Gloomy Galleon, and on the way there, we can get Chunky's blueprint. First thing we do is we unlock this gate as Chunky. As DK, we get our battle crown. As Tiny, we get our blueprint. As Tiny, we can play the saxophone to open up her sub area to get an easy banana. As Tiny, we can shrink in size to get inside this treasure chest. In this treasure chest is a bunch of pearls we need to collect to give back to the mermaid. Once we give these pearls back to the mermaid, we get a banana. As Chunky, we can play the triangle to open up his sub area. Getting to the sub area was a little bit of a challenge, but definitely doable. And in the sub area, we play a bonus game and get a banana. Well After this, we get Chunky's Kasplat and Linky's Kasplat. Using Linky's Baboon Balloon, we're able to get up, get to the bonus barrel, and get another banana. Tiny's able to shrink in size and get another banana from a bonus barrel. Now we visit Snide for the third time to get some more bananas. First off is DK who is missing his blueprint, which he can't get because to get that you need to get up to the top of this tower as Diddy and activate a banana port. Diddy Kong is missing three bananas. One for not being able to simian spring, the other is two bananas in one. You have to go on a boat, ground pound a switch, go up to the top of the tower, then you gotta go inside a mechanical fish. Lanky is missing one banana for not being able to simian slam this switch. Tiny is missing one banana from not being able to simian slam this switch. Chunky is missing three bananas. Although he's able to primate punch this chest, there's no way for him to get enough height to collect the banana. The second banana, Chunky's supposed to jump across these platforms with this boulder, but he can't do that either. And this third banana, Chunky is supposed to be able to jump on this boat, but he's unable to do that. Gloomy Galleon is the best stage in the game by far, having 16 bananas and 4 of the banana medals. Next up, we go to Fungi Forest and we finally open this area. As Chunky, we primate punch this door to open this area, and we primate punch this box to let Tiny enter this area while she's tiny. Tiny uses her tiny barrel to get in the area, and although at first it seems like Tiny's not able to jump up here, using a couple smart butt slides and a jump in midair, we're able to make it up. Once we're up here, we can face the spider boss and get another golden banana. Oh my 
Then we hit these switches with all the Kongs to access this barrel. It'll let Donkey Kong do his time banana. We are able to get Tiny Kong's and Chunky Kong's blueprint, which are both in similar areas. We are able to get Lanky's blueprint as well. As Diddy, we're able to damage boost into his rocket barrel to collect two bananas. Welcome to bonus day. Well done. Sadly, we can't go into the other area with the rocket barrel because it's not allowed. After feeding Drop and Scoff, we can finally enter the boss battle as Chunky Kong. Luckily, we were able to go into the hunky chunky barrel without jumping. I was really concerned about this. I thought the run might end right here, but luckily we're able to walk right into that barrel. And we're able to beat the boss to get the boss key to unlock Creepy Castle and Crystal Caves. Donkey Kong can 100% everything in this level. Diddy is missing two bananas. One for not being able to jump on that switch, and one for not being able to jump up on the window. Lanky is missing four bananas. One banana is because he's unable to jump during the rabbit race, so he's unable to hit any of the checkpoints. Two bananas is because he's unable to simian slam the switch, and this opens two doors to get two bananas. And the third one is because he's unable to simian slam this other switch. Tiny Kong is missing three bananas. One banana comes from not being able to jump up on this lock to play her musical instruments when she's tiny. Another one comes from being unable to jump into the tiny barrel. The third one comes from being unable to simmy and slam the switch. Chunky is missing four bananas. Although we can do most of the steps to get his crushing the kegs banana, we are unable to drop the kegs onto the conveyor belt if we aren't able to jump. And we're unable to get the hunky chunky barrel without Tiny being able to jump in her tiny barrel. So we're unable to get the apple banana also. The other two bananas, we can't get this one because we can't simmy and slam the switch. And we can't get his minecart banana without being able to jump and simmy and slam the well. Overall, Fungi Forest was a bit better than the average level. Now we unlock Crystal Caves and Creepy Castle. We get a quick banana with Donkey Kong that we could have got earlier, and we can finally head back to Crystal Caves the easy way. In the Crystal Caves lobby, we're able to use Chunky Kong to break down the ice to get Lanky's blueprint and to get a banana with Donkey Kong. And we use Lanky's arms once more to enter Crystal Caves. 
First thing we do in Crystal Caves is get Tiny's Blueprint. As DK we can enter a cabin and get an easy banana by shooting down all the bees. As Diddy, we're able to fall into his rocket barrel, which is incredibly helpful. This allows us to get to his bonus barrel and collect a banana. Well done! As Tiny, we're able to get the golden banana from the log cabin. As DK, we're able to get his Kasplat. As Diddy, we fly through the ring to get the music pads to appear. As Donkey Kong, we're able to go into the igloo and get his golden banana. As Diddy, we were able to get his igloo banana also. And now it's time to visit Tropenskoff to face the boss. And we're able to easily defeat the boss for another key. DK is missing one golden banana. Even though he can get the battle crown from this building, he's unable to get the golden banana as he's not able to precisely Simeon Slam to do the matching game. Diddy is missing three golden bananas. One he can't get because usually this banana port 4 would take you to his blueprint, but to activate the other banana port 4 you'd need Tiny Kong to do it, and she's unable to. Diddy can't get this banana because he's unable to use his Simeon Spring move. And he's unable to get this banana because he's unable to jump to his rocket boost barrel. Lanky is unable to get a single golden banana. The first one is because he's unable to jump on his balloon pad. The second one is because he can't reach his blueprint without having a way to get to the banana port 5. The third one is because he's unable to jump into a sprint barrel so he's unable to win the race. His fourth one is because he's unable to jump to get the golden banana. And the fifth one, he's unable to Simeon Slam to play the game. Tiny is missing three bananas. One is because she's unable to Simeon Slam the target. Two is because she's unable to reach the bonus barrel. And thirdly, she's unable to jump to her tiny barrel to get through the hole. Chunky is also missing all five of his bananas. Even though Chunky can free the rabbit, he's unable to grab the banana. This one kind of surprised me because it doesn't seem like the banana's that high up. Chunky is unable to get his blueprint on the igloo because he's unable to jump up there. Although Chunky gets close on this one, he's unable to get this banana because he's unable to enter the Hunky Chunky barrel. Ah. 
Without being able to simmy and slam on the targets, Chunky's unable to get this banana. And for his last one, he's just not quite tall enough to collect this banana either. Overall, with Crystal Caves only having 8 bananas, it's on the same level as Angry Aztec. Next up, it's finally time to head to Creepy Castle, but before we go there, we're going to quickly stop with Snide and get the golden bananas from our blueprints. In the Creepy Castle lobby, we get Diddy's blueprint, but now we have a bit of a dilemma on our hands. You see, we need 80 bananas to enter, and we can't use Lanky's hand glitch without being able to jump up there. My initial thought was I could just do a ledge clip to get in the level, but after trying a ledge clip for over half an hour, I knew I had to think of a different plan. So the plan I came up with was switching to Chunky Kong, removing the boulder so Lanky could do his balloon move. But the only problem is, is now we have to enter the tag barrel, because if we exit the level or die, the boulder is going to be back where it was. So I had a plan to jump in the air onto the boulder, then jump in the air again into the tag barrel. Once we have Lanky, we can get a banana for him out of the bonus barrel, and then after that, we can get into the level. Well done. First order of business in Creepy Castle is to find a trough and scoff door, so we're able to switch out cogs. First thing, we do DK's Baboon Blast to be able to open up the tree. In the tree, we're able to get DK's blueprint. Next, we get the sniper upgrade, because a lot of the bananas here require it. And with DK's new sniper upgrade, we're able to get a banana. As Diddy, we're able to get his Kasplat. And we're also able to get a banana as Diddy Kong. As Chunky, we're able to get his Kasplat. As Lanky, we're able to get his Kasplat also. Next, we visit Cranky, and we get the Super Duper Simeon Slam. And we finally have 15 banana medals, so we're able to play the jetpack game to unlock the rareware token. After this, we collect Tiny's blueprint. We are also able to collect one of Tiny's bananas from a bonus barrel. <laughs> 
DK is also able to collect a banana by completing a puzzle. As Lanky, with a very precise jump in the air, we're able to ground pound his switch and enter the hedge maze. In the hedge maze, we're easily able to get the banana. We are unable to get the battle crown though, since Lanky isn't able to jump up and grab it. As DK, we're able to get his banana from the library. As Diddy, I was able to fall into his rocket boost barrel to get a banana. Chunky is able to get a banana by orange boosting and punching the shed door open. After defeating all the bats, Chunky gets an easy banana. Since we're going to be heading to Hideout Helm right away, thought might as well cash in the blueprints for some bananas. I clip into the boss room to save some time and get an easy key to unlock Hideout Helm. For DK in Creepy Castle, we're missing one banana. This comes from DK's minecart part, because DK's unable to jump. As Diddy, we're missing two bananas. One, because he can't simi and slam the switch. And the second banana, he is able to simi and slam the switch and get into this room, but he's unable to reach the rocket barrel boost. Lanky is missing three bananas. Two is because he can't simi and slam a couple switches, and the last one is because he's unable to jump into his sprint barrel. Tiny is missing three bananas. One comes from not being able to hit the roof while being tiny. The next comes from not being able to simi and slam the switch. And the third one comes because Tiny's unable to enter the ballroom. Chunky is missing three bananas. One is because he can't simi and slam the museum switch. Two is because there's no way for him to jump into these two bonus barrels. So overall, Creepy Castle was a pretty decent stage. Now that we're done with Creepy Castle, we're going to get an easy banana with Diddy Kong, and then open up Hideout Helm. Diddy is also able to get another banana in the Crystal Caves lobby. We grab another quick banana that we missed. Now it's time to finally head to Hideout Helm. We'll get a banana on the way, and we should be able to just jump in the air to get there. Huge shoutouts to Cheezo Man. I was trying to do this trick for a while, but I couldn't get it done. So this clip right here is coming from Cheezo Man. Great YouTuber. He has a channel based around Donkey Kong 64. Okay, now it's back to my footage. Doing a butt slide, we're able to get right in.
So we start out Hideout Helm, and luckily we're able to butt slide right into the tag barrel, and we can switch to Lanky. And Lanky is going to be extremely useful. Okay, so this clip right here is coming from Ring Rush. He's a great Donkey Kong 64 speedrunner, and he knows this game pretty much better than anybody, and he does a lot of task stuff. He has a separate channel called Donkey Kong 64 A Button Challenge, and he's trying to see the least amount of A presses possible to beat Donkey Kong 64. So, the majority of the time he's using a thing called Tag Barrel Storage. That's what you're seeing right now. So if you want to learn more about Tag Barrel Storage, or more about the Donkey Kong 64 A Button Challenge, I'd highly recommend checking out either Ring Rush's channel, or the Donkey Kong 64 a button challenge channel. I really didn't want to do it this way, but I was trying Hideout Helm for probably about four hours trying to do it myself, so I thought that this would be fair because it's showing that it's possible without jumping. Before we go to the final boss, I'm just gonna go over what we're missing in DK Island. For DK, we're just missing his blueprint, which is in the Hideout Helm lobby. For Diddy, we're missing two bananas. One for not being able to use his simian spring, and another one for not being able to use his rocket barrels. Lanky is missing two bananas. One comes from the fact that even though Chunky can move the boulder, there's no way to swap to Lanky to get him to play the instrument, and if you re-enter the room, the boulder will be back. And the second banana is because he's unable to go into his sprint barrel. Tiny is missing three, but technically four because she can get up to six bananas in DK Isle. One is because she's unable to get to her Kasplat since Chunky's never able to open the box. Two is because she's unable to make it to the mini monkey barrel. Three is because she's unable to make it to the bonus barrel. And four is because we are unable to get all 20 banana fairies so she wasn't able to get her secret six banana. And Chunky is missing two bananas. One because we're unable to switch as him for him to get that banana. And two is because there's no way for Chunky to jump in the hunky chunky barrel. So let's check out our totals. In DK Island we were able to get 15 bananas. And in the game we were able to collect 93 out of 200. We got 5 out of 10 battle crowns. 8 out of 8 keys. 17 out of 40 banana medals, 1 rareware coin, 12 out of the 20 banana fairies, a Nintendo coin, and 29 out of the 40 blueprints. Now that we've done everything we can do, it's time to return the final boss key and finally face King K. Rule. We start the fight as Donkey Kong, and it's pretty easy for Donkey Kong's portion. And sadly, in the second round of the fight with Diddy Kong, this is where this entire run ends, since there's no way for us to get into the rocket boost barrel. So sadly, we came really close, but you can't beat Donkey Kong 64 without jumping. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Obviously this video ended up being so much longer than I expected, and if you watched this whole thing and got to the end, I really appreciate it. And I Hope you guys all have a great day.